you guys, it's Daily and my new girl. Um, she doesn't have a name yet, but I was successful in getting her shoes on. Um, Wendy left a comment saying that the shoelaces couldn't be in the toes, otherwise the shoes wouldn't fit, and it's exactly where the shoelaces were. <laughs> so I moved the shoelaces and the, the shoes fit better. Her feet aren't quite against the bottom, but they're definitely near the bottom. Her heel is maybe just a tiny bit above where her feet should actually be sitting in the shoe. But she looks adorable. I really love her in this white wig. It's a shame that it's too big. Um, I have a bracelet that is currently acting as her hair accessory and keeping her wig on. Um, it actually kind of causes issues because it makes the wig rise up but it does keep it on her head and I can move it without the wig popping up like it happened yesterday. Um, but I would actually, I'm facing a dilemma. I really can't figure out a name for this girl. I mean, granted, I don't expect it to come to me in a day, but all the names that I've looked at, the names I've considered, I haven't really been liking. Um, the only one that I like, but I don't, I don't know, I'm not too wild about naming her. It would be Cotton, and the only reason I would name her Cotton is because of her hair. So, I mean, I'm probably going to keep white as the default color of her hair, and I am planning on buying a Spite and Malice white fur wig um, once I can, um, because she just looks so cute in me. White, just I just love her in her white wig. I haven't even tried the black wig on, but I'd rather not try the black, any kind of really colored wig until I get a wig cap. Um, because I don't, I'm really scared of her resin staining, which is kind of ridiculous because before I never used to care. Um, with my other two dolls, um, my cutie Delph Mary had a brown wig and never experienced any staining. But I think it's just because I know her s resin is a limited tone that I don't want to risk it. And I'd like to keep her as, in like, as good a condition as possible. Um, so, yeah. Um, this, as I said in my last video, this wig and its black cohort will be up for sale. I'll probably make a sales video probably after this one. I should just get it done. Um, but these wigs will be going up for sale. Um, actually, I won't do them right after I get done with this video because she still needs a wig for a while because it'll probably be a couple weeks before I order her new wig. Rambly. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's been really cool today, too, which doesn't help. So, yeah. Um, I've also started experiencing the wonderful issues with YouTube. I am now unable to view and reply to comments. The only way I can see the comments you guys post is through um, my email notifications that I get from YouTube. Um, but once I click on to follow the link to see all the comments that's been, that have been left on my videos or to reply to the comment that has been left on my videos, I can't even see the comments on the page and therefore I can't reply to them because I can't they don't come up with that reply to so and so so I'm in the boat just like everyone else that I follow on YouTube so I haven't been able to reply to your comments I apologize but I really do appreciate them and they are not going ignored um, I just can't respond because YouTube's being stupid and not letting me respond. So, um, one thing I am curious is if this is proving to be an issue for anyone else. So, I know there's some people who have been having, I know Denali Wind and Leisha and I think a few others have reported issues about being able to upload their videos, but I haven't heard anything about not being able to respond to your to comments that um, other viewer, other users have left on your channel. Um, 
but I'm having that issue. So I hope none of you have that issue. I am able to see comments on other people's YouTube channels, but I'm actually finding that it's quite limited now too in comparison to what it used to be and I don't know what's going on but it's really annoying so anyway I guess that's it for now um, that was my little splurge and kind of rant towards the end I will talk to you guys later again if you have any if any names just kind of pop in your head for this pretty girl throw them out there for me I'm really open to any kind of name I really would like something rather cute for her, but um, it can be a unisex name, it could be a name of an ob object like cotton or something like that, you know, just whatever strikes your fancy for this girl. Anyway, I'm done. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great evening. Bye!